What's up guys, Willis Comics back with another video. It's been a few weeks, I think, um, but I actually have a decent haul. It's not just new comic book day stuff. Personally, I just don't like showing off new comic book day, uh, new comic book day stuff. I don't know why. There's like a few things here and there that I don't mind, but for the most part, I'm not really the biggest fan of like, you know, showing that off or whatever, because I mean, everyone's getting it, you know? So, um, I picked up a collection last night. It was listed. And uh, about message him probably like 10 minutes, about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes after it was posted. I uh, didn't really see, it was just a he said comic book collection. He had a few pictures and I was like, all right, I didn't say anything. So I asked him, I was like, what do you have? And he said, he started list listing off like stuff, uh, you know, Avengers, Spider-Man. What caught my eye, what caught my ear was the for debut of Miles Morales. I was like, okay. All right, that, that sounds promising. So I asked him if he sent some pictures. I asked him if he had, you know, what Miles Morales books he had. Um, you know, what else he had. Just, you know, and he said he had the uh, first Riri Williams. I was like, okay, sweet. So he actually sent a couple pictures. Then he FaceTimed me and he went through it. And I saw two books and I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy this. The, I, I knew there was one book in there that I knew I was going to buy it already, but... I was like, okay, sick. I'm definitely going to buy this. Um, he knew that, a, like, I was talking to him, and he thought that a, a couple were, were maybe worth, like, 30 bucks. But I don't think he understood how valuable some of these were. Um, and so, yeah, he wanted 200 He wanted 225 at, at PayPal, so it was, like, a little bit of extra fees. So it was, like, $230, $230 for me. Um he thought it was only like 300 books. There ended up being like 780. It was three long boxes. So again, I paid about 30 cents a book, uh, which is fine by me. But these are, I'm gonna show off some of the uh, cooler, like minor keys and then keys of the collection. And I'll show you why. So uh, first I got Ultimate uh, Comics on the Spider-Man number five. I think this is the origin of the black suit right there. Early Miles Morales. Definitely can't go wrong with that. Uh, Thor number five. This is the first female Loki. Right there. Uh, New Avengers number eight, I believe. Yeah, this is the first appearance of the Black Order, or first cameo. Uh, maybe a couple of the members are first appearance, but yeah, first Black Order, basically. Uh, I forget exactly why this one's a key, but this is uh, Vendors number six. But yeah, pretty dope one right there. It's got some, it's like a $20 book, I think, but cool one. This is a beautiful cover, J. Scott Campbell cover. This is uh, Ultimate Spider-Man number 152. J. Scott Campbell, Black Cat. Can't go wrong with that at all. Uh... Another, it's like first full appearance of the Black Order, Avengers number nine. Pretty cool one right there. Uh, I don't know exactly why this is a key. The Mighty Ava Avengers number 13's Secret Invasion. Cap is a scroll, pretty cool. Spider-Man number one, Miles Morales uh, book right here. Nothing, it's not worth anything crazy, but it's still in Miles Morales' book, and he's very popular, so. Uh, another, this is Spider-Man number 12, The Kiss of Spider-Gwen and Miles Morales. It's like a $20 book. I got a bag and board that one, but nice one right there. Spider-Man number 20, another popular cover, I guess. But yeah, Miles Morales. Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man number 98. This is the first appearance of this Spider-Woman, whoever she is. But, you know, first appearance, Spider-Man. Dope looking cover. Definitely a cool one there. Um, up next, I got Ultimate Fallout, Spider-Man No More, issue three. Right there. All new Spider-Man issue four. Right there. 
Uh, and then Avengers number nine, first like appearance and co or cover appearance of this Wasp, I believe, or the character who plays this one, not the original. But yeah, this is some minor keys. I think there's a couple more, but you know, you get the gist. That's kind of what, uh, you know, is there. And then these are some of the nicer books, in my opinion. Um, the next few, uh, I got Secret Invasion number one. I, I forget that this is the first appearance, but this is like Scroll Avengers. It's pretty cool looking. Definitely a popular book. Right there. Uh, we got Avengers, uh, the Avengers number 12. And this is very popular. The Iron Man, in, or Iron Man wielding the Infinity Gauntlet. So that's a go in there. Very popular book. Up next, I got New Avengers number 10. First Thane, Son of Thanos. So that's a good one right there. I was surprised. I, this book's actually going for more than I expected. Like, maybe, sometimes 40 bucks. So, pretty cool. Um, Invincible Iron Man number one. Riri Re Re Williams is Ironheart. I believe this is the first time they use the name Ironheart. I could be wrong. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's a nice one there for sure. Uh, Ultimate Comics All-New Spider-Man issue 3. But it's the second printing variant. So the first print goes to like 10, 15, but the second printing goes to like 30. So that's pretty cool. Um, the white border. If it were, obviously, first print would be black border. But that's a cool one right there. And then a gorgeous cover, Ult Ultimate uh, Comics All-New Spider-Man issue 2. Definitely a nice one there. Uh, World War Hulk number five, first appearance of Scar. Um, I think it might be just be like in the Marvel continuity, but yeah, just first Scar. So I think that's Sun's Hulk, I believe, or no, Hulk's son, not Sun's Hulk. But yeah, that's a decent one right there. Excuse me. Uh, really popular book. Dark Avengers number one. Uh, this is the first print. Awesome cover. Super dope book. This is like a $40, $50 book, I believe. But yeah, those are some of the nicer ones. These are all, I think all those are like, typically, maybe the, maybe this one's like a $20, $25 book, but like they're all generally about 30 to 50 bucks, I think for the most part. Um, so decent keys, you know. And then the next four are the big books. Those are the ones that I, uh, one of them I didn't, even, I, I didn't even realize, I just didn't realize it was a thing, but uh, there were two, the, the two that I knew for sure were going to be in this collection, the other two were kind of a surprise, so uh, the, the first two I'm going to show were surprises, so this is Invincible Iron Man number seven, first cameo of Riri Williams, uh, pretty big book, I think it's like over a $100 book raw, so that is definitely a nice one there, um, was very happy about that. So that's a, that's a very nice one. This one's gonna get a Mylar for sure. I think so, definitely a decent bit of these will. Um, I'm going to have to get more Mylars and bags and boards and all that. Uh, up next is Invincible Iron Man number eight, I mean number nine. This is the first full appearance of Riri Williams. Um, so yeah, I did not realize this was a key. And then when I saw it in there and I saw that it was like a $200 book, I was like, oh my God. So yeah, this is a big one right here for sure. So I'm stoked about that. Up next, the one that I, the first key that I saw in this like entire lot um, that he showed me uh, is, and it was in the, it was in the bag, uh, Ultimate Comics, All New Spider-Man number one, the second appearance of Miles Morales and first, I guess, solo series of his. Um, it was in the bag, was, I put the poly bag in the bag, but it wasn't sealed, he had opened up it, opened it and read it. But it does have the poly bag, but I'm, I just put it in the back and I'm gonna keep the comic for display. Um, so yeah, good one there. Definitely a really nice one, that's very, very nice. Gorgeous cover. And then, by far, the book of the haul uh is going to be ultimate file ultimate fallout spider-man no more issue four the first full or first appearance of miles morales first print um again this is a huge book right now i'm considering 
I'm really considering gonna start getting some of these books graded. I don't know. They're all gonna be for sale. Again, I still only collect Star Wars. Um, I mean, eventually when I run my booth, I just wanna open up with a bang. Uh, I'm thinking about getting some of these graded. I don't know yet. I would, I would, I would trade some of these for some big Star Wars keys that I need. Um, Cause there's still a couple that I need that are, that are more expensive books. But that's what I did with the uh, New Mutants 87 from that comic uh, collection I got a while back. I traded it for a uh, first Sturge newsstand. And the condition that my book was in compared to how rare the newsstand is for that, I thought I got a pretty good deal out of that. Um, but again, I collect Star Wars. That's why I was willing to do that. Um, but no, these are super cool books. Very excited. Um, just got more big keys and decent stuff. I got a lot more back issue. Like it's three short, long boxes full. Um, all bagged and boarded, which is sweet. Um, and they're just good stuff. You know, I got Ultimate Spider-Man, uh, Superior Spider-Man, some Avenger stuff. Uh, a lot of Dark Tower stuff. Uh, what else? He had a lot of Miles Morales, like early Miles Morales stuff, which is pretty cool. So that's good. Uh, Invincible Iron Man, some Thor, you know, just cool stuff, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm stoked. I did not, I was just chilling in my room and saw it on Facebook Marketplace. Didn't, it didn't show any of the keys right away. And then I messaged him and I was like, hey man, you know, can you tell me more about the collection? You know, what do you have? And we went through it, we, we talked, I was being cool with him. Um, he sent me a video where we kind of like FaceTimed. And I saw him and I was like, right, how much are you asking? And he said, I'm pretty sure it was in the description as well, but he said, I'm asking 225 for all of it. Um, and I was like, I didn't even, I wasn't gonna, you know, try to, you know, low ball him or anything. I was like, yeah, that's fine. I can pay that, no problem. I can go pick it up right now. He's like, all right, sweet. So I drove over there and picked it up and now I got some awesome books. So yeah, paid about 30 cents a book, got some pretty big keys. I think I scored on this one. I don't know if it tops the other one, because the other one was a lot of like crazy books. I, mean, I got two New Mutant 98s, a New Mutant 87, First Gambit, uh, you know, First Apocalypse, First Mr. Sinister, like a lot of big books in that one too, but definitely close to it. Um, my bad, the video cut out the last second, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, till next time, I think I'm going to a Comic-Con this weekend. I don't know, because there's one about two hours from me so I might go do that. I might not. If I can get a bunch of friends to go, I definitely will. So we'll see. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Tell me how I did. Uh, definitely gonna upload this today. Uh, gotta get back on the Star Wars grind. Like, like I am, I still buy Star Wars. I buy Star Wars comics every week, right? Um, I get my books, you know. I got, I got uh, you know, this from my, uh, what's it called, the LCS recently. He's got a lot of Star Wars trades as well, so. I got that and it's dark horse, like, you know, cool trades. So I get all that, I'm gonna get all, I got all that. Um, but again, I just don't, I just don't like showing off like, my new books that much. I don't really, I don't know why. Um, some of the variants I'll show off if I really like them, but it's kind of like, I like to show off back issue stuff that I find in the wild. So that's what's more fun for me. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all later.